Alameda County, some businesses under the shutdown order are pushing back. KPI X finds Kit Doe live in Fremont Forest with that. Kit. Yeah, so folks in the personal care industry, hair shops, nail salons, things like that, they're worried, they're anxious, and they're scared. And for this third lockdown, they feel like scapegoats. How much longer can you survive like this? I can't. <laughs> um, certainly not another month. Joanna Brignolo, the owner of Visual Image Salon in Fremont. And this is a medical grade antibacterial. Has done everything the health department has asked. Enhanced cleaning, uh, social distancing, temperature checks, questionnaires, masks, and lots and lots of hand sanitizer. She feels shutting down the beauty industry again is unfair and heavy handed. And give us a chance. Let us prove to you that we can do this, that we are being safe and that that we are that we do value our clients and we don't want anyone to get sick we don't want to get sick we don't want to bring it home I deeply recognize people's pain and suffering at this moment at his press briefing this morning governor Newsom was asked to address struggling business owners and we're just simply trying to do our best and I recognize it's never good enough but we're not going to give up and we're going to continue to do our best to provide more support during this very very challenging time. We know how to keep our clients safe in this new era of pandemics. Fred Jones is legal counsel for the Professional Beauty Federation of California and sued the governor to reopen their industry during the second coronavirus wave. He says the current order again unfairly targets the beauty industry. Have become the sacrificial lambs to the COVID gods. Every time our elected officials and in particular our governor calls upon his health bureaucrats to get more aggressive about COVID. But they're not going after some of these huge retail stores. So Kit, this Beauty Federation, what's it saying about, you know, the stylists we've heard about, they might go rogue, do the home visits in violation of the health order? So they saw during the early days of the pandemic where folks would uh, bring in stylists into their homes, get a haircut or a coloring session in a kitchen or a garage. The Beauty Federation says that if they had some kind of exemption and reopened up the industry, it'd be a lot safer for folks to just come and do it in salons like this. Hmm. Safer in the salon. All right, kid, thanks.